Larry Moglin and Mosimo Giannulli reportedly robbed of $1 million worth of jewelry. The thieves are reportedly a South American burglary crew who smashed Lori and Mosimo's bedroom window before stealing the full house star's jewelry box. Lori and Mosimo reportedly had $1 million worth of jewelry stolen from their home in Los Angeles. A group of thieves dressed in black and wearing masks smashed the couple's bedroom window and walked off with the full house tap box of expensive gems on January 3rd, according to TMZ. Sources told the outlet that Laurie and Nosimo were not home at the time. A housekeeper discovered the home had been burglarized. Police say they were unsure if Lori and Mosimo were targeted by the criminals or if it was a random haze by the news source. Officials are said to believe the band of thieves are from South America and may have left the U.S. shortly after the hit. The actress 57 and fashion designer 58 reportedly added more security since the evasion. Laurie's reps told TMZ the secret admirer star was thankful no one was home or injured when the incident occurred. They said the death of Laurie's full house co-star Bob Saget put things in perspective for her and she's not concerned with the loss of something replaceable like jewelry. Losing Bob made it only more clear to Laurie that family and friends are what matters most in life. Meanwhile, Lori and Mosimo have been enjoying their freedom since their jail sentences ended. The couple had been imprisoned after they pled guilty to several charges associated with using services of William Riggs Singer to get their daughter Olivia Jed and Bella accepted to the University of Southern California. One of the scams included the parent paying $500,000 to pass their daughters off as athletic recruits to the USC crew team, even though neither competitively rode before. During her August 2020 court appearance, Loglin agreed that the prison sentence to pay $150,000 fine along with two years of supervised release and 100 hours of community service. Janoli was slapped with five months in prison, a $250,000 fine, two years of supervised release and 250 hours of community service. That is all I had for you about the ex-cons, Lori and Massimo. It's good that they stayed with their life because life can't be bold and jury can easily be replaced.